Okay, so this is the fifth and last story I'm going to read. And this is the most recent of the short stories that I wrote. It's 6.10 p.m. So the most recent short story that I wrote was, hmm, I guess, 12 days ago. No, 11 days ago. It was, um, I wrote this on January 14th of this year. So the I'm from New Orleans, and the short story is called Big Easy Jazz Buffet. Holly Bergeron Toops, a Cajun Navy wife from Metairie, Louisiana, thought up an idea while her husband, Nicholas Toops, a.k.a. Scooty, was stationed in San Diego. She went to Golden Corral in Gulfport, Mississippi one time and thought that the food was so bland and nasty. She always had an entrepreneurial spirit. She teamed up with her former high school best friend and current co-worker, a Creole named Dijonay. You know how they have like Dijon mustard and Dijonay mixed in together? So yeah, Dijonay. Um, she teamed up with her former high school best friend and co-worker, current co-worker, a Creole named Dijonay to form their own buffet restaurant. Dijonay is already popular and very creative on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram with her creative spin on New Orleans dishes, and she loves to eat, yet stays so voluptuous and slender. Holly, on the other hand... Oh, sorry, y'all. Holly, on the other hand... um can gain weight by just looking at a grain of rice. They secretly thought up this idea behind Scooty's back. They wanted to surprise him. They decided to have the buffet restaurant located right on Canal and Broad on a streetcar line where the family dollar used to be. Fiction. It's all fiction. <laughs> that way it can be easy access and look... It can be easy access and a lucrative business for the tourists. Even the natives and locals were eagerly anticipating the ribbon-cutting ceremony and grand opening event. A week passed since the first day of the restaurant opening. You would have thought the Essence Festival was going on, or you would have thought Denzel Washington was in town or something. So many people came by. That traffic looked like an endemian parade during Mardi Gras season. The restaurant was always packed with long lines. They even feed the homeless, humans, and stray animals. There were two local black men who were customers. Their names were Lo Noah and Eric. Once they sat down to eat, they were gossiping while sucking the heads of some big crawfish saying that the buffet items taste so good that the restaurant would put every New Orleans metro area food place out of business. This restaurant was getting all the business. Owners from other restaurants were becoming jealous and trying to plot on ways to, sabot to sabotage the new restaurant. They were unsuccessful because, of, because the food of this new restaurant is untouchable, undefeated. Wow, breakfast, brunch, lunch, snack, dessert, dinner, late night, bite, whatever. 24-7 and never closing. Happy hour is one half off of the breakfast bar on Saturdays and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. There is a salad bar, fruit, jello, and pudding section. Not your, not your traditional boring salad bar. Fresh dandelion and arugula, stuff like that. Forget just spring mix, iceberg, lettuce, spinach, or romaine. A wide variety, fresh stuff, nothing canned. A soup and stew bar, which also includes gumbo. A section with um, Cafe Du Monde beignets, canlas, buttermilk drops, donuts, French bread, king cake, or whatever else, New Orleans style pastries. Um, a section with your fate with your um, 
red beans and rice, jambalaya, crawfish, shrimp, and slash or chicken etouffee, stuffed bell peppers or melatons, pasta jambalaya, white beans, and andouille sausage, barbecue shrimp and grits, Cajun mac and cheese, etc. I forgot to mention dirty rice. <laughs> A yaka main and Vietnamese pho soup bar being its own unique section away from the other soup and stew bar, other soup and, st- yeah, because Dejanate and Holly wanted it to stand out and be set apart. A seafood bo- boil bar, like, um, when you can, when you go to a seafood store to buy crawfish, crabs, turkey necks, boiled red potatoes, boiled corn, Buddha and pig's feet, etc., a do-it-yourself pole bar, bar, oh man, like the fixings for choices between um, a fried crawfish po' boy, turducken, oyster, shrimp, roast beef, alligator, fish, ham, rabbit meat, turtle meat, frog meat, leg meat, possum meat, nutria meat, patents, hot sausage, and muffaladas. Muffaladas, I think how you pronounce it. <laughs> Um, did I spell that right? L O L and even a customized gourmet New Orleans style pizza. A dessert section with pecan pralines, pound cakes, bananas, foster, sweet potato pies, apple pies, cherry pies, pecan pies, petite fours, buttercream cakes, chantilly cakes, dough beige cakes, bread pudding, creole, cheesecake, peach cobbler, ice cream, candy apples, and caram- caramel apples. <laughs> A non-alcoholic as well as alcoholic huckabuck snowball and daiquiri section. An international section with Vietnamese, Japanese, Jamaican, Mexican, Italian, Chinese, Middle Eastern, and even a little Cuban. A baked potato and barbecue section with both beef and beef and pork ribs, pulled pork, pulled chicken. Brief biscuits, I mean, br- beef brisket, sloppy joes, hot dogs, hamburgers, coleslaw, potato salad, baked beans, etc. Food that resembles a 4th of July family get together or a Dickie's barbecue pit. A soul food section with your typical black folks Sunday dinner. You know, oxtails and rice, fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, pork chops, smoked turkey legs, collard greens, corn, cornbread, yams, etc. A breakfast section with grits, eggs, sausage, bacon, oatmeal, pancakes, cereal, and milk, waffles, French toast, omelets, etc. One Thursday morning, Scooty picked up his phone to check his messages. He was missing his baby, his favorite and only wife. Missing his family and feeling homesick. Lo and behold, he couldn't believe his eyes when he saw a NOLA.com article and videos on his YouTube feed from WWL-TV and WDSU about the successful restaurant. It went over his head. It didn't dawn on him until he was in the middle of making some coffee. He nearly choked on his coffee when he realized that it was his own wife. The children didn't even tell him. None of his friends told him. His wife put no information on Facebook that he could see. He was set to retire soon from the Navy with 24 years of service. He wondered if this was a surprise retirement gift. He cried tears of joy. There was a surprise retirement party for him at the restaurant. He felt like he was drunk in a dream. He really thought that he died and went to heaven, but no, that was his real life experience. He didn't know that his wife could throw down like that. His wife, Holly, wanted to keep the business local. She only wanted that one location to be open, but she put the restaurant up on DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Gold Belly nationwide. Um, her husband created his own similar food delivery app called Scooty Roo. Almost put all the other delivery apps out of business. Scooty bet that he could get his drivers to get to your door faster than DoorDash, Uber Eats, or others, or you get delivery and service fees waived. If the driver gets your food quicker than the others, then he gets a bonus and you get a land yet, Adam. Everyone loved that idea. The end. If you like 
the short story, my cash app is psychworld35. Thanks for the support.